Yo, good morning everybody, or good afternoon I would say. It's about 1.17 p.m. right now and I just woke up. Um, I traded in the morning, I took one L and then I went back to sleep. Um, this morning was so fucking choppy. I shouldn't have traded, but I took a trade anyways, like an idiot. If I saw that it was choppy, I shouldn't have traded, but that was a, that was a terrible move on me. But like I said, I took one trade, took an L, I'll show you guys the trade. All right, let's get right to the trades I took today. I took three trades, and I lost two and won one. I'm down on the day, but it's fine, I guess. Um, I followed my plan exactly, so it's fine. Um, so going into the day, I I do a lot of daily pro daily profiling. So what I did was I was like, okay, look, I'm expecting bullishness because as you can tell, Asia pumped and then London just manipulated, and I was expecting New York to be the reversal. Um. So I was looking for longs initially. So therefore, I was long bias in the morning. But dropping down to the lower time frame, we opened up and we just chopped. We just chopped, right? We chopped and then as you can tell, I was looking for a New York reversal. But then now that now that I'm looking back 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 at it in hindsight, it looks like um London is or it looks like New York already reversed to a higher time frame fair value. So this could have been your uh, New York continuation, in my opinion, I read it wrong, so which is fine. I'm gonna have, to, I'm gonna get those wrongs, but I'm trying to get better at reading daily profiling. So, here at the time, I thought it was a New York reversal. So as you can tell, London dumped, swept up these lows, and ready to get fair value up right here. We pumped up, so I was expecting longs. So then, I was like, okay, bet. Um, I actually entered around here. Let me mark it out for you guys really quick. Um, it was like at this candle right here, and my stops were right here. Obviously, I was just targeting the higher prices, but so this will happen. Basically, we end up coming down, sweeping out lows, and we end up coming down, sweeping out this low. And I was like, okay, I'm gonna see if we have any SMT divergence between ES and NQ, which we didn't but that's but we also just swept liquidity so it's fine um i i, I didn't realize we had I, I didn't even realize we didn't have smt so that's on me my fault so then we swept out liquidity and then boom right, waiting for the 2022 model break of structure at this candle here and then i was like okay bet perfect so or it was actually here this was the break of structure here we broke structure with no displacement, but then we pushed up even higher. And I was not looking to enter up here anywhere. So I waited, 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 waited. And as you can tell, this should have been a breakaway gap, but we returned to this fair value gap. So I was expecting lower prices or expecting a, a liquidity sweep. So which we did, we had a liquidity sweep here. And then we pushed up fair value gap right here. And then we also had an inversion fair value gap. So I entered of the reaction right here and then my stops were here initially and then once we i was in drawdown for a little bit and then once we pushed up to these to this high i, I ended up moving my stops to right here at this candle and then my and then because we broke above this high with the body closure so i was like, okay we shouldn't see back any lower but um move my stops here got stopped out and yeah longs were longs here with the move i know that the trade took forever to explain but let's go to the next trade so then i was like okay maybe i read this wrong and as you can tell I did right. We pushed up. We tapped a higher time frame for value gap, the hourly for value gap, dropping down to the 15 minute here. We were also here, right? We also were at this 15 minute order block right here. We traded through it or or at it, but at the same time we should be fine. Um, hourly for value gap here also, so it's fine. So then I did what I did, right? We tapped the hourly for value gap. I waited for a liquidity sweep. Boom, sweep here. No market structure shift to the downside. We pushed back up. Boom. I guess I guess this trade wasn't the best trade either. We had a market structure shift right here at this point of uh, this low, and then boom, fair value gap right here, and boom, and this we had a tiny volume bounce here. I entered off right here and got stopped out. Was in profit for a little bit and then stopped out. And then I was like, I wasn't really too convinced of us going longs. So then I was like, okay, look, we're still rejecting off this hourly fair value gap. We end up coming up, sweeping out this high again. And then we got a better market structure shift at this low. Market structure shift. We had fair value gap. We left fair value gaps when we did have a market structure shift. 
So then I was like, okay, this looks amazing. I'm going to go ahead and take my sh my long or my shorts at this fair value gap, stops at this high, and then my profit target was this low. As you can tell, we were generating buy side liquidity here. And oh, let me move right here. We were generating buy side liquidity here. And boom, got filled here. Target right here. And then I ended up, yeah, I only had one contract in here. Nice little two RR here. And then we ended up pushing even lower, but I would have got stopped up regardless. But I took all my contracts off at this low. And yeah, that was a trade recap of today's trades. I took that trade. I thought I was decent at first because of the daily profiling and where we were at and everything, but I took it out. So right here, we're about to, we're eating our food right here. Like I said, I'm on the fucking grind, I'm trying to get better and better every single day, back testing every single day, and yeah. And we identified where the market should come back. We got the peach vibe Celsius flavor. About to head to the gym right now. Let's fucking run it. All right, Jits, we made it to the fucking gym. We're about to hit some fucking legs because I it's a fucking Monday, right? I just got to get the legs out of the day. And we have our Celsius right here. Like I said, I look fat as shit. My acne looks like shit. Like, today's just not a good day. Um, it's an okay day, actually. I lied. Um, but going to hit some legs. Destroy my legs, hopefully. I'm not squatting today. I'm just going to do a little bit of hyper hypertrophy of leg stuff. Um, we'll see if I squat or not. But I'm not even sure if I want to yet. Um, but other than that, guys... Let's get right into our leg day. All right, boys, we made it back home. Right now, we're eating some spicy noodles, some chicken, canned chicken, and some beef right here. We got the charts going on right here. Just back testing a little bit here. And yeah, over here. I'm be eating this, and then I'm going to go live on my YouTube channel and on TikTok. We're going to be doing a back testing stream again. Um, but you guys tend to love those, so we're going to be doing them again. But yeah. Honestly, I'm always watching Brandon Taylor whenever I'm eating some food. It's just very enjoyment. All right, boys, it is about 2.10 right now, a.m., and my sleep schedule is all fucked up. I haven't been live streaming in the morning. I kind of took a break because my because my sleep schedule is all fucked up because I streamed, like, seven hours that one time, and then, like, I didn't get to go to sleep until 4, like I said. Um, sleep schedule is all fucked up, but we're going to try to wake up early in the morning and trade with the YouTube and TikTok. So, I don't know, guys, hopefully you guys enjoy this video, and I will catch you guys all next time.